Well, in tonight's cover story, we are getting answers after Caltrans cleaned up two different homeless encampments within two weeks in Sacramento, when all city shelters, safe ground camping areas, and motel voucher programs were all at capacity. And Abe's attends Lena Howland pushed Sacramento Mayor Dale Steinberg for answers today. On September 29th, Caltrans bulldozers pushed tents, beds, and coolers aside as folks who lived there watched from the other side of W and 9th. The same thing happened six days later near 29th and F streets underneath Capital City Freeway. But each person being removed that we spoke with had the same question. Where do we go? No officials seem to have answers for that, as city shelters are all at capacity. So knowing that the city shelters, the safe ground camping areas, and the motel voucher program are at capacity right now, why are these cleanups still happening? I don't know. I mean, that's that's a Caltrans decision, and I'm inquiring. Believe me, that's why I'm uh, in touch uh, at the highest levels. But Caltrans says the ball is actually in the city's court. Well, where do these folks go? And that's not that's a political solution to that problem, and, and I don't have a comment on that. The department doesn't weigh in one way or another. Just simply have to keep the route safe and operational. If Caltrans has an operational need, to move people from where they need to begin work, that should be timed with the availability of alternative sites. And that's what I'm going to, am working on. The city's $100 million plan to address homelessness involves building more than 20 new sites for shelter around the city, five of which fall within Caltrans jurisdiction under the WX freeway between 18th and 24th. Some of it requires Caltrans and FTA approval. Some of it requires the placement of the infrastructures. We also are willing to enter into lease agreements with the city. That takes a little time. Right now, it's it's on their it's in their court to uh, to file the paperwork and to begin the lease. So, who is really responsible? Obviously, the buck stops with me. I can assure you and everyone that I am working day and night with the city officials to get these projects under the comprehensive siting plan up and running as quickly as possible. So no quick or easy answers there. But meanwhile, the city has received notice Caltrans plans another encampment removal by the 15th beneath where I-80 and Cap City Freeway split just east of Watt Avenue.